Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Joe Scully, and I'm a professional bull riding announcer and commentator. Uh, over my career, I've had the opportunity to meet several great uh, up-and-coming and current world uh, champions and superstars at the PBR with my experience with PBR Canada. And in addition, I get to cross all across North America with the uh, PRCA and International Professional Rodeo Association. And uh, together, all of us as professional bull riding enthusiasts are here today with J.B. Mooney, an exciting and talented new star of the PBR. As we all know, in 2006, J.B. was the Challenger Tour winner and was also named Rookie of the Year for the 2006 season. In 2007, he won the Versus Invitational and is currently ranked the number four rider in total points and the number six rider in total money earned going into the 2008 World Finals. We're very excited and fortunate to have him with us today. Now, at this point, we're going to proceed with the Q&A portion of the call. We'll take our first question from Elvin in Irving, Texas. Please go ahead. Yeah, JB, going into uh, Las Vegas being the finals, is there any more pressure being with all the outside activities going on to to get up and stay uh, focused for the whole week? Yeah, it, it kind of wears on you a little bit the longer we stay there. I just I try to look at each round as a – a different bull riding, and I just try to stay calm as much as I can, but all that other stuff and, you know, going here and there and having to go places, it'll wear on you a little bit, but uh, that's all part of it, I guess. We'll take our next question from Tina in Tyson's Corner. Please go ahead. Hi, JB. How are you doing? Good. Um, I was wondering, uh, which rider do you enjoy watching the most right now? Uh. Probably, I'd probably have to say Guilherme, because uh, every time you watch him, you're expecting to ride, you're expecting to stay on, and uh, he, you know, he's one that tries hard every time he gets on, and he's a cowboy, he don't let go until his head hits the ground. And I had one more question for you. Um, what What do you do during your uh, time between PBR events? Uh, if I don't go to challengers or bull riding like that, then I usually I'll come back home and we'll get on practice bulls during the week and just hang out with my buddies around the house. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Our next question comes from Cindy in Maxwell, Iowa. Please go ahead. Hi, JB. How are you doing? Pretty good. Hey, a um, couple things. Uh, one, I uh, guess you made it, did everything you said you were going to do when we talked way back when, but uh, I really kind of wondered when um, they always say that when your traveling partner gets hurt or something, sometimes it changes your focus, and you're going into the world finals, and I know you and Brian, uh, Mr. Canner, have been traveling together for a long time, for years. Do you think this has helped or changed your focus in any way? Uh, Not, not really. Um, he got hurt pretty bad, and... But, uh, you know, we're riding bulls, you're going to have that. And, like, I told, I called him the other day and told him we was bucking bulls, so he come down here and got on some of my bulls, and we got on some practice bulls and stuff. And uh, he's just trying to get his head back right and get back in there. And uh, after you get hurt like that real bad, you know, it kind of takes a little your edge off of you. And uh, once he gets it back, he'll be doing all right. Well, yeah, um, so you think that, do you feel like, you know, like being on the tour and everything then has kind of helped your focus? Is, you know, you still looking forward to that first world championship? Yes, ma'am. Uh, you know, when I was the first year I got in them, you know, I was just excited to be there. You know, I was just happy I was riding in the top 45 with guys I've watched on TV since I was little. And uh, after that first year um, of being there and I got calmed down, you know, and I started focusing more and, uh, I tell them all the time now, and the only reason I'm there is to win. And, you know, it's it's helped me out a lot because before, you know, I was just riding bulls having fun. I'm still doing that, but now I'm I'm focused, and I'm, I know I – after last year, I know I can ride. You know, I know I can win the world. I just got to get everything put together. Yeah, how does it feel to have someone like Justin McBride say that you and uh, Brian Canner and um, – uh, the oh, Hayes are the, in his opinion, the guys to be looking for in the next decade of the PBR. You know, it's it's exciting. I mean, it it's 
hard to explain, you know, when a guy you watched on TV and uh, two-time world champion and arguably one of the best the best boy rider in the world. And, you know, I hung out with him and stuff. We're sponsored by the same people, Copenhagen, and I was I was with him and around him and stuff like that. And, you know, when he says something like that, a guy like it that has his status says something to you like that, you take it to heart. And, uh, you know, it just – it makes you feel good about yourself because you know you're doing something right and guys like that are telling you. And so it, it gets me pretty excited. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Also, not to uh, forget to tune into the PBR Finals Live on Versus from October 31st and November 2nd, the opening Halloween weekend of the World Finals, and also the second weekend, November 6th and November 8th. Jill, do you have someone else on the line? Yes, sir. We'll take a qu another question from Elvin in Irving, Texas. Please go ahead. Yeah, JB, you're 44 and 4430 points behind Glaremy. Do you think that you have a legitimate shot of overtaking him this year? It, it's going it would be it's going to be real real tough. But uh the thing that I told somebody this the other day, the thing would be he's going to have to have a horrible finals and I'm going to have to have an outstanding finals and that's not gonna. I mean, that's not gonna happen because he's not gonna fall off. I mean, every time you you see the guy, he stayed on more bulls than anybody this year, and uh, so you expect him to stay on. And but I'm gonna go at him and try to win every round. How's your uh, injuries done? Are you feeling better? You, I know you hurt your funny bone here recently. Yeah, my my free hand's still a little numb in my little finger, my ring finger, and uh, down the side of my hand, but. That don't bother me too bad. It's everything's pretty good. I got on some bulls yesterday, practice bulls, and uh, I feel real good.